What's up guys? This is Robert, also known as Seth Dean. Um, I'm gonna do another video log. This is the Nerd Block video log number two. If y'all, if some of y'all knew who I am, y'all probably remember the last video I did was back in December that Nerd Block had sent me. Um, just let you, some of the people that doesn't know about this, and this is the first time seeing this. Nerd Block is pretty much a mystery package that you um, that you order from. Of course, the site is called Nerd Block. You can see on the box side, Nerd Block. Um, if you heard of another different type of company packaging place called uh, Loot Crate, where some live streamers that you might know online, such as Gassy Mexican and uh, Renee, one of our pretty funny uh, live streamers that I usually follow, they do this little mystery package videos with um, Loot Crate. And I'm doing one for Nerd Block, just in case if you want to do something different besides Loot Crate. But um, Loot Crate slash Nerd Block um, is pretty much a monthly mystery package delivered right to you whenever you order a subscription, which is like around $15, $20 for a subscription. One mystery box, one mystery box a month. Um, it usually comes with a custom shirt, some um, video game, movie fanatic stuff, comics, all kind of media related stuff if you're interested in all that kind of stuff, which I am. I'm a gamer slash media enthusiast myself. I like comics, I like toys, I like games, I like all that stuff. And just having just some kind of mystery package uh, full of stuff mailed to you once a month, I think it's pretty, pretty, pretty fun and pretty cool. Um, I mean, I, I got this shirt here, the Zelda silhouette in front of a moon shirt. I got that for my last, my first nerd block, really, but last month. But anyway, I can't keep this long because I'm tired. I just got off of work. I just spent like almost a double, triple shift today, so I make, I'm going to make this quick. So, nerd block. Here we go. Let's see what is... Box number do number two is gonna do for me. Sorry if I'm having a hard time talking again. I'm tired. Here. Oh yeah. Let's see what we got here. Uh, let's start with the small stuff. Uh, looks like we have something about the Hunger Games. Hunger Games Catching Fire. Collect them all. So, we have a little Hunger Games package. Let's open this up. Might be a knife if I have a hard time opening this. Ugh. Yeah, maybe a knife. <laughs> okay. Some of these packages I like to get really, really, really hard to open. I always carry a knife with me. Okay. That's kind of interesting. A little tiny, <laughs> but let me show you the package. Little catch and fire. I guess it has like all the names in back of for what you want to collect. And so far, I have a little tiny figurine. That's kind of cool. Huh. Sorry, the lighting is bad. It's not really good. <laughs> For a little trinket. I don't know who it's supposed to be. I didn't. I haven't really watched Catching Fire. Or Hunger Games, sorry. I haven't really watched Hunger Games. I read some of the books, but I never watched the movies. But you get a little figurine of the character. Sorry if I can't zoom it in for good detail. It's very small and it's not really much of a detail. Put that right there. Okay, so we got that. I don't want to make too much of a mess. Let's see, what else? Ha! <laughs> uh, apparently I have a My Little Pony vinyl figure. My Little Pony, My Little Pony. So that's cool. Let's open this up. Again, I gotta use my knife. I'm just gonna have my knife just stand on my side. Because I'm pretty sure every one of this stuff I'm opening is, requires me a knife. Okay. 
collect an entire line of Funko My Little Pony Mystery Minis. One out of twelve chance each. Huh. So you see, there's the box. My Little Pony, My Little Pony. Interesting. I think I have a My Little Pony avatar from my Battlefield 4 game. When you make like a little profile car on your uh, Battlefield 4 profile on the site. I'm pretty sure I've made a My Little Pony avatar just for shits and giggles. Okay. Bag within a box. A knife. Not a knife. Alright. Alright. <laughs> So, is that it? I don't know who this is, but I have the glow in the dark one. I don't know who this is. I, I never watched the series. I don't know any of the name of the characters. So if anybody knows that watches it and sees this, you can probably help me out. But oh, it does glow in the dark. I have the glow in the dark special glow in the dark one. Uh, but <sighs> sorry for the quality, but it has like this weird. Her eyes, I guess I'm assuming it's a she, but one eye is going up and the other eye is going down. So it's, if anybody knows this character that has, uh, that can, that has wings and has weird eyes, but I don't know if you can get a, try to see if I can get a good, mm, yeah, wait, wait, take a zoom. Yeah, see the eyes? It's just like one's going up and one's going down. <laughs> I mean, this is like, I have a special, mentally incapable, retarded little pony, <laughs> if that makes sense. I'm gonna put that there. Little pony, now I got that stuck in my head. Next, ooh, I see a Ninja Turtle in here. I have a Ninja Turtle Splat Flyer. Okay, look at this. Ninja Turtle Splat Flyer. Interesting. Let's open this up. This one doesn't require a knife, surprisingly. At least, not yet. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I think I just found my stress ball, actually. You know one of those little stress balls where you squeeze when you're stressing out. I just recently quit smoking since New Year's, so I'm getting a lot of stress with me like almost every day without smoking. So it's a little Raphael. And, oh, yeah, it's pretty much like a stress ball. That's awesome. They say you can throw. I might throw it at my ginger roommate. Who knows? Clean your splat fire with just warm water. Throw it, catch it, watch it splat. Wait, wait, it splats. I don't, I don't see us. I don't know. But I do see this as a stress ball. That's what I see. If I like, get stressed from like not smoking a cigarette for like days. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I like this. Cool. Splat. <laughs> and I got another pop vinyl. Oh, this is cool. Um, what? The last box I got, I had a pop vinyl figure of uh, the Invisible. Where is he? I have him here somewhere. It was some Lord of the Rings. Uh, I'll put a link on my first video of it, of the first pop vinyl. This one, uh, Bilbo Baggins Invisible pop vinyl figure. That's what I had. I remember. This time I don't have that. This time it's from a different movie. Star Wars. I have a Jabba the Hutt vinyl bobblehead. Awesome. I have Jabba the Hutt as a bobblehead. That's awesome. I like that. Alright. Let me open that up. Sweet! Bring me solo and a cookie. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Put that there. That's awesome. I like that. Yeah. That's awesome. 
And shirt time. I think this is the last item. Yep, last item, shirt time. Again, I showed you this is what I had my first box last uh, month. Let's see what this month's t-shirt is all about. Do, 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 do. No way, dude! What? Is there anything back? Is there a description on this? I don't know what it means. I'm trying to... Okay, but it looks like a samurai Batman kind. It's like a Japanese Oriental style of Batman. Dude, I'm so wearing that. I like that. If anybody knows what that is, what that means, let me know. That is awesome. That is definitely Batman. That is awesome. Oh, I'm going to wear that tomorrow. I'm wearing this tomorrow. Yes. Oh, yeah, I like that. Dude. I, I'm really digging Nerd Block. I'm, I'm kind of glad I chose Nerd Block over Loot Crate. I wanted something different besides Loot Crate. Everybody else online is using Loot Crate. I want something different. Nerd Block. And I got a badass Batman shirt. That's awesome. I like that. I got, I'll look in, I'm going to look into that and see what that means. What those kinds of simple means. Uh, I know some people that can read that stuff, so I'll get them to read that. But, uh, yeah, that's it. I got shirt. Jabba the Hut bobble. I have a little Raphael ooze splat ball, but I'm going to use it as a little meditation stress reliever ball at work or something. Uh, my glow in the dark retarded My Little Pony with the eyes going a different way. I like that. Wonder how well it glows in the dark. And a little Hunger Games figurine. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's it. Yep. That was it. That was all in the box. So there you go, guys. I'm going to keep going at this. I was debating to see how well I was going to stick with Nerd Block. But so far, I'm digging it. I'm going to keep going with these guys. So. I'm going to see how, uh, what's the next month? February? Valentine's. Hmm. I wonder if they're going to have something special for Valentine's with Nerd Block next month. Well, I'm going to find out. We're going to have to wait and see. But, uh, yeah. If anybody's interested in wanting to do Nerd Block, it's, you go to nerdblock.com. It's like around $15, $20 for a subscription. And I have to say, for that much money, around that range, I think that's really worth it just to have a mystery box of random cool things for toys, games, movies, related. So, there we go, guys. Uh, that's it, and I'm going to go to bed. I'm tired. I've been at work all day. All night. All day, all night. I'm done. I just want to go ahead and get this over with, get it down for you guys. So, this is Seth Dean. I'll see y'all guys later. Peace.